when I was young, and um, before I had transcended the books, as I think everybody does as they move through life, I, I think that's what the books are meant to help us do if they're presented as they should be. Um, I, was, I was fascinated by one sentence among a hundred others that moved me, but when the scripture says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, at the age of 16, it, it just brought me to a screeching halt. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. As the years went by, I began to understand that the simplicity, the oneness of the Word had to be universal. If in the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God, then that one Word was permeating the universe. It had to be true. And, and I, it couldn't be false because if it was a universal word, it was that word everywhere. So then I, I said to myself, well, if, if, that's, if that's what we're talking about, then as the years went by, I began to understand why all the other words simply began to shrink and go to dust in my life. There were words short simple words that were the truth. And they had been quite properly mined for thousands of, of years by multiple cultures, and they came out in very highly philosophical or canonical uh, uh, form till nobody knew what word was the word or what any of the silly words meant. And so you can go back through, you can go back to the Vedas, you can go back to the Buddha. But, uh, when you see what, what the original word was, and then you come up a thousand years and see what somebody else said it was in, in another um, uh, 600 pages, you say to yourself, how'd they get from there to there? The more we conjure up our meanings for something, the more likely we are to destroy the real meaning. I honestly believe that the older we get, uh, the more likely we are to throw off. We're, we're looking now for essence. We're not, we're not playing for rules anymore. We're not playing for any institution's approval, uh, sacred or secular. What we want to know is inside us. What is it about? Where, where are we going? Why have we come? And, and we don't have a lot of time for the other 599 pages. So what we've got to do is find, find the, 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 the words that release this internal knowledge in us in the, in the best way. That's one concept, and that concept is that this, this I, that magnet is pulling me toward this word, too. And when I find that word, that's when the magnet sticks too. In the beginning was the word. What's the word? The word was creation, you, your life, this, the universe. I, I am, I am thought. I am spirit. I am energy. And out of thought and spirit and energy comes the word. What else do you need? It's that listening for the word. There's a word. The tree is a word to you. Those trees that tell us around this globe, don't, as Jesus did to the weeping women of Jerusalem, don't cry for me. You know, if, you th keep th if these things keep up the way you're doing them, it's you and your children who will suffer. That's the word. That's the word from the water and the word from the air. It's the word from the babies that, that this government is, is separating from its families but can't find today. The word is, that the, the natural word is, those children belong with parents. And the parents have a right to a dignified and decent life. And anybody who is an obstacle and anything that is an obstacle
to that is outside the word and the will of God. It has to be. It is a totally unnatural, demeaning, depressing, diminishing, and sub, uh, some. It's, it's a barbaric word. So it cannot be the one word for the whole universe. It's when you clutter to confuse for the sake of being seen as learned, magical, authoritative, right, that you create a new Gnosticism, meaning I have a special knowledge. You couldn't possibly get it. Yeah, you can. Just walk down the creek to the lake, check that, the beautiful people coming by, then read your paper and ask yourself, what's the word? What's the word? And be careful of all these other words because they are obscuring the word. The scripture is very clear. I wish you well and not woe. I put you here for you to be happy. And, and, and you, have, you have grown both, both beauty and evil because the original word has been, is being overlooked. People are, people are assuming that their word is the word. Their word, the money, is the word. Sex is the word. Corruption is the word. Uh, war is the word. Power is the word. Authority is the word. No. In the beginning was the word, creation. And the word was with God, God's word. Creation was God's word. And the word was God. What you do here, you do what you do to me. That's my spirituality.